All right guys, today I wanna to talk about something that can really transform your life and your business. This is something that I have done that has tremendously impacted the way that I show up every day in my life, in my family, in my business, and every other area that you can imagine. And that is this topic, this idea, this, this program called 75 Hard. Now I know many of you have heard of 75 Hard, maybe some of you have even completed it, maybe some of you have even tried it and not completed it, and then there's others of you who have not heard of it at all. Now the reason I wanna share this today on our podcast, which is the business of construction, is because what we do in our daily lives, with our habits, with our disciplines, directly, not indirectly, but directly, affects the way that we show up as a leader in our businesses. And it can indirectly affect the top line and the bottom line of our businesses. I have seen this over the past probably decade of being disciplined, of having strong daily mental, physical business habits. And then by implementing 75 hard and by completing it three days ago for my second time. And so I wanna dive into what that looks like, what it is, and how you can utilize something like 75 hard, whether it's 75 hard or whether it's something else. The goal of this podcast is to get you to implement some sort of daily structure so that you have more control over your day and over your time and over your activities so that you can be proactive and be more intentional about what you want and what you get out of your life and your business, all right? So the problem here, and, and we, we, I wanna frame every podcast and every video that I do around a solution to a problem, right? If I just talk about something in terms of why it's cool and not tie it into a problem, there's less likelihood of someone like you taking action on this and really letting this sink in and impact the way that you show up every day, all right? So the problem that we all face, the challenge that we all face, and this is not unique to the modern day, although it is very much more uh, highlighted today in our our modern busy world is that there is less time than ever, not less time than ever because there's always 24 hours in a day, but we feel like there's less time to get those important things done. And we feel like that because there are more distractions than ever. There's more noise than ever before. There are more opportunities to allow ourselves to get distracted than ever before. There's social media, there's media in general, there's busy lives with kids and sports and activities in business. There are more events and more conferences than there have ever been in the history of business, I would guess. That's not a scientific thing, but I would probably guess that, right? So there are more things that are vying for our attention and vying for our energy and vying for uh, our, our time, really. And it can be overwhelming. Chances are most of us feel a sense of overwhelm at some part, at some point in every single day. I know I do. I'm going to raise my hand on that one, okay? We feel overwhelmed with all of the different opportunities, all the different potential distractions and places to put our time, our energy, and our focus. So it becomes more and more imperative that we be intentional about how we're showing up, how we are spending, investing that time, how we are investing our energy. We don't want to spend energy. We don't want to spend time. We don't want to uh, spend intention. We want to invest those things. We want to invest time and energy and intention into those things that are important for our mission. All right. So that's what some programs like 75 Hard are all about. They are about us taking more control over our time and over our schedules and over our calendars, over the actions that we take, over the things that we do every day. And recently, today's Monday, I'm recording this, uh, three days ago on Friday, I completed 75 hard for my second time. Uh, it's the third time attempting it in uh, 2021. I failed, I lasted 20 days, and I gave up after 20 days. So this is my second time. I did it in 2020, I did it now in 2022, and it's gonna be something that I probably do every year for the rest of my life because it has had that big of an impact. So for those of you who don't know what 75 Hard is, it is a program that was developed by entrepreneur and leader Andy Frisella. Go check out Andy Frisella's podcast, uh, Real AF. Uh, he goes into it, he's got a book, 
uh, about 75 hard, but you can simply go to 75 hard.com if you just want to read a little bit more. It's a completely free program, right? If you buy the book, of course you pay for the book, but I've never had the book. I've never read the book. I've, I've done the program. So you don't need the book, but go to 75 hard.com to learn a little bit more about it. But in a nutshell, what it is, it's very simple. Simple does not mean easy. Simple things to do every day. All right. So number one, two, this is, every single day for 75 days. And if you fail on any one of these things, you go back to the start, you go back to day one, all right? There's no like, oh, I'll make it up tomorrow. No, you go back to day one. So it's extreme self accountability and integrity, all right? So the things that you have to do every day for 75 days, the things that you get to do every day for 75 days are two 45 minute workouts, one of those has to be an outdoor workout, okay? And they have to be separate workouts. One 90 minute workout does not count. If you do, uh, if you do a three hour run, that is one workout. You still need to do another workout. So it's two separate distinct 45 minute workouts. One of them has to be outside. Follow a diet, whatever diet you choose. Uh, it doesn't matter, you just gotta be in, have integrity with yourself. You know what's on your diet, what's not. It doesn't have to be a crash diet per se, but it could be something like you're doing paleo or you're you're following some sort of macro diet, which is what I just did. So it doesn't have to be very strict. People hear that word diet and they get scared. And I do too, right? Because that sounds so restrictive uh, and so prohibitive, but uh, it's, it's about having a diet that you can sustain realistically for 75 days, all right? So stick to a diet, no cheat meals. So that doesn't mean you stick to a diet for six days and on Saturday, you just go nuts and celebrate because you had a great week. No. No, it's 75 days of sticking to your diet with no cheat meals. Another one, the next one is zero alcohol for 75 days. Uh, that can be, you know, difficult for some people depending on where you're coming from with that. Uh, another one is drink a gallon of water throughout the, throughout from the time you wake up till the time you go to bed. The other one is read 10 pages of a nonfiction, personal development business book, right? Not a fiction fluff book, but something that's going to help you advance in your career, uh, personally, whatever that might be. Could be a biography as well. So nonfiction, personal development, business development. And the last thing is to take a progress picture. So that is shirt off, progress picture in the mirror, or have someone else take it for you, whatever that is. You don't have to post that picture or share it with anyone. You simply have to take it and uh, and that, that checks that box for that day, okay? So it's two 45 minute workouts, one of which has to be outside, stick to a diet, no cheat meals, no alcohol, drink a gallon of water a day, read 10 pages, and take a progress picture. So you do every single one of those things for 75 days, and you complete 75 hard. You miss any one of those things on any given day, you go back to square one, you go back to zero. So yeah, there's a lot of pressure, it can be stressful, right? Going to bed at night, checking off all the things, triple checking, making sure you got everything done. Uh, there is an app, 75 hard app. I think it's like a $5, $6 purchase, something like that. Uh, that I would highly recommend because it allows you to literally check off in the app every single day and making sure that, that everything's checked off before you go to sleep that night and you get a completion thing. You can share it on your stories if you want to kind of, you know, share what you're doing, inspire others, hold yourself accountable, that sort of thing. I didn't share those stories throughout the, the journey of 75 hard this time. I just kind of did it on my own. And at the end of 75 days, I shared my completed 75 hard. So this might seem one aspect or multiple aspects of this might seem a little bit intimidating depending on where you're at with your fitness, with your discipline, with your healthy habits and things like that. Uh, for me, just to give you a personal recap, I really enjoyed it. And that might sound sadistic, that might sound a little crazy. I really enjoyed it. I work out every day already. I, I drink water every day, maybe not a gallon every day without 75 hard, but I'm around 100 ounces a day. I do read every day. I've been doing that for the last two years since I first did 75 hard. I pretty much stick to a, a, a good diet 80% um, of the time. So I'm pretty good with that. I don't really drink a lot anyway, so that wasn't too difficult. Um, and then taking a progress picture, you know, that's pretty simple. The hardest, the most challenging part, and people always ask, like, what's the hardest part? In my opinion and experience is that second workout, right? It's pretty much automatic for me. I'm gonna do my morning workout every day. I mean, that's just how I start my day. If I don't do that morning workout, I just feel awkward and everything's thrown off the rest of the day, right? So that first workout is pretty automatic for me. The second workout is 
difficult. And that's what, that's why I ended up quitting, uh, last year, uh, because I just, it, it, it wasn't work. I wasn't able to fit it in and I just, I didn't make it happen. All right. I take ownership of that. Right. So the second workout can be tough, right? You've got family, you've got kids, there's sports and different obligations and driving kids to soccer and baseball and you know, that sort of thing. And I was careful to not like make that second workout during that time and leave my wife with all those responsibilities. I thought that was kind of selfish of me. So what I did this time around is I would, I would try to knock out that second workout some point during the afternoon, right? Maybe I would do a couple calls while I, while I did a run or a weighted vest walk with some kettlebells, do a couple calls or something like that, or you know, finish up work at five and work out from five to six and then family time from there on. So I really, I think I did a good job of doing that before, you know, quote unquote family time. There were a couple times when I was, you know, eating dinner with the family and then working out at, you know, nine o'clock at night, which I normally go to bed at 9.30. So that was definitely something different for me. Um, but you just gotta squeeze it in. Another difficult part about that was traveling. Uh, I traveled uh, at least three, maybe four trips uh, on a plane during 75 hard this time. So you've got to be, you've got to plan this stuff out, right? You can't just say, oh yeah, I'll get my two workouts in. No, you got to look at that trip you got coming up, look at your flights, look at where you're going to be, your meetings or hotels, things like that. And you've got to plan those workouts, whether it's waking up extra early to get that workout in before your early morning flight, or whether it's knowing that you're going to do a night workout at some point that night or a back-to-back -back night workout that night, uh, whatever that is, you've got to plan that out. Um, traveling is definitely difficult when it comes to 75 hard, uh, the workouts and also, also the eating, uh, making sure that you get, get all those things in. What I did the past few weeks when I was traveling, I had two trips the past couple weeks to Iowa and to the Carolinas. What I did is I actually uh, did back to back workouts in the morning. So I would do a 45 minute workout. I take a 15 minute break, you know, maybe change my shirt, grab some water, coffee, whatever. And then I do my second workout. So that way I was completing my, my two workouts by 7 a.m. or by 8 a.m., right? And I had that whole day of meetings or events or, you know, whatever it was. I just, I knew that I had the picture knocked out. I got my reading done. I got my two workouts done all before 7 or 8 a.m. And then it was just about keeping strict to the diet, not drinking alcohol and making sure I got my water in the rest of the day to complete that day. So I would highly recommend that if you're traveling, you've got maybe a lot of unknown things. Maybe there's a potential for your flight to get delayed or canceled or something like that, or get rerouted, which happened to me a couple weeks ago when I was out in Iowa, when my flights got canceled, I ended up taking an extra flight crisscrossing the country and everything like that. But I wasn't worried because I already got those workouts done in the morning. Uh, 75 hard does not care about canceled flights or about reroutes or about you getting home at two in the morning uh, when you're supposed to get home at you know six o'clock at night. It doesn't care about those things. You just got to take ownership and get those things done. All right. And so what this teaches uh, teaches us 70 something like 75 hard is the power of daily discipline. The biggest thing that I've gotten out of it, yeah, you lose weight, yeah, you get you get pretty shredded depending on your diet, how disciplined you are with that. Like there are some really good physical benefits with that. But the number one mental benefit, and Andy Vercella talks about this all the time, is the confidence that you get from winning 75 freaking days in a row. Like that's a powerful thing. When you can look back and say, I've done all these things with integrity 75 days in a row, it just gets you to that uh, another level of confidence in yourself and conviction that you can take on like w anything in the world and get it done. Like it's just something that you can't fake. It's something that is kind of indescribable unless you've been through it. Those of you who've been through 75 hard and completed it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You just walk with your shoulders back a little bit more, not in a proud way, but in a confident way, knowing that whatever gets thrown your way throughout the day, throughout the week, whatever it is, whatever situation, you have a higher level of confidence in your ability to overcome any challenge. And that is absolutely something I experienced this time around and then the first time I did it. So 75 hard is huge. A lot of people kind of 
modify it and say, yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna modify it with one workout, or I'm gonna do 30 days, or I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a cheat day every Saturday, or I can't do it because I really like a good cocktail now and then. I do too, right? I don't necessarily want to work out twice a day. I, I like to have a beer on the weekends once in a while. I like to have a ch I like to have pizza with my family on Fridays. I like those things, right? It's not like I don't like those things, but you you're stronger than those uh, those distractions. You're stronger than those reasons that you tell yourself, "Oh, I deserve the pizza. I deserve to have a few drinks," right? We all like those things. Most of us like those things, right? But 75 hard is about being stronger than those things and showing yourself and proving to yourself that you can overcome those things. So if you're going to try 75 hard, don't don't try it, do it, you know? Right? Don't don't compromise on it. Don't make up your own rules. Just stick to the program. Again, 75hard.com. This is not an endorsement or anything. It's just something that I really believe in. It doesn't have to be 75 hard, although that's probably the most powerful program that I've done. Uh, it could be, you know, any other sort of diet or challenge or for you, maybe it's joining a gym or maybe it's uh, starting to meditate every day or maybe it's starting to read every day or maybe it's starting to, you know, walk on your lunch break or walk for 30 minutes every morning, walk your dog or whatever that is. It doesn't need to be an insane like CrossFit style workout, again, depending on where you're starting from. All right, so whatever it is, well, I recommend to you to take action on, on what I'm saying today and figure out what you need to do to build that confidence in yourself. Develop those habits. Do something every day for the next 30 days and see how you feel. And don't try to do too much, right? Don't try to, you know, try to have a, a four hour morning routine where you're trying to do all this personal productivity type stuff. Um, it doesn't work. Okay, I know that because I've tried that, right? You feel productive because you're doing all these things, but it's not sustainable, okay? So we gotta pick something small and just be consistent with it. That's why it's read 10 pages a day, not read 40 pages a day, right? 10 pages a day takes 10 to 20 minutes, five to 15, 20 minutes max, okay? We can all figure that out. Meditating every day, if you wanna do that, I use the Headspace app. I think right now, today, I'm at 487 days in a row. All right, so part of my motivation for doing it every day is that I don't wanna break that streak. Uh, same with the Bible app. I think I'm at like 140 days in a row right now. So I do it because I, I get value out of it as part of my routine and I also don't wanna break that streak. Uh, so pick something, whatever it is that you know you should be doing but you just have made excuses for yourself, you've made assumptions that you've got a challenge and just get to it and do it every day and you'll see a new level of self-confidence in yourself and a new level of confidence in your ability to go out there and tackle any challenges that might come your way. If you're big on tracking streaks like I am, like 487 days in a row or whatever that is, there's an app called, uh, I think it's called Streaks. There's a bunch of, if you just go in the app store and look for Streaks app or something like that, Habits, uh, Habits app, it will, you know, there's a bunch of different options. I think I've purchased one called Streaks, which I like. It has like good visual layout, it has good haptic feedback. So you get that little dopamine rush when you, you know, click on your habits. Um, but that's a really good way to kind of gamify your daily habits. And, and the point of, of things like this, one of the points is that these things are easy to do, right? But they're also easy not to do when you're on vacation or whether it's a weekend. Uh, these things are easy to say, you know, oh, I'll get back to it on Monday, I'm on vacation. But when you're on vacation, you're traveling or you're busy with family, whatever, the way that you win, the way that you overcome that is you set your alarm for 15 minutes early, 30 minutes early, an hour early, whatever it is, to get those things done, to win the day, win those things, and then you can go all in with family time or work or vacation or whatever that might be for you, right? So winners do what they've committed to, not what they feel like doing in any given moment. And that's exactly what a program like 75 Hard is all about. It's about doing what you've committed to doing, not what you feel like on you know any given day. I mean, trust me, there like there are times when most times I didn't want to do that second workout. Like I love working out, but man, when you're doing these workouts and right now it's the middle of summer, it's hot out, it's 90 degrees out, you're tired, like you're sore. 
Um, and it's hard to push yourself through that, but you do it anyway. And again, by doing that, you just build that confidence and that conviction in yourself that is so powerful and, and irreplaceable to have, right? And again, tying this back into the business, business of construction, that's what we're here for, right? To improve our businesses, but we don't, our business doesn't exist in a, in a vacuum, in a silo, right? How we do one thing is how we do everything. And I believe that, right? So having daily disciplines, having good daily habits, winning the morning, getting a solid morning routine, a solid evening routine is going to enable us to operate at a higher level with more intention, with more energy, with more alertness, with a higher level of acuity in everything that we do throughout the day, in, uh, including business, okay? So you might think like, oh, you know, I don't have time for that. You don't understand. I'm working 16 hours a day. Dude, I, I own a business. I have a mastermind program. I've got a family. We've got kids in sports. Um, we, you know, we're pretty active and you just find a way to fit this stuff in. It's counterintuitive, but for those of you who have finished 75 hard uh, or know someone who has, you might have heard this, that it helps you become more focused with your time. And that is absolutely true. Something like this, where you're actually doing more, where you're spending 90 minutes working out every day, actually helps you accomplish more because you're being that much more disciplined with your time. You're saying no to things that don't fit. You're saying no to some social obligations because you know you need to be rested and ready to go that next day. And you're able to focus on only those things that are important to the mission. And it's absolutely been true in my case is that by adding things onto your plate, it actually helps you accomplish more because you're so much more dialed in, you're so much more mentally in tune with what you need to do. You have better energy, you have better focus, you have less distractions, and you're able to get more done. It's, a, it's an absolute game changer, which is why I wanted to spend some time, invest some time right here, uh, talking about that this morning after completing 75 hard for my second time. So. I'll wrap it up there, um, whether it's 75 hard uh, or another program, there are things that we all know that we need to do. There are things that we know that we need to get better at, whether it's something in our business, whether it's something in our family life, our relationships, our marriage, our relationships with our kids, our physical fitness, our mental health, whatever it is, there are things that we know that we need to do that we've been neglecting because we make these excuses for ourselves or we believe these assumptions that we have made for ourselves. And my request to you, my call to action for you is to do something today to take action toward that thing that you know you need to take action toward, all right? And track that for 30 days and do that consistently for 30 days and see how you feel after 30 days, all right? So go get it. Be disciplined. We can't control everything that happens to us, but we can control how we react. We can control the mornings. We can control the evenings throughout the day. Uh, we want to control as much as possible so that we can have uh, just more of an impact in our businesses and our lives and everywhere in between. All right. So hope that was valuable for you and we'll talk to you soon.